let's talk about your discussion section. This is one of those pieces of a paper that can be really tough to nail right. Uh, but it's also one of the parts of the paper that could be the most Ill illuminating when it comes to your research results. And that's because it's not just about kind of waxing philosophically about your thoughts on your results. Uh, new researchers tend to kind of fall down that rabbit hole where they're just kind of maybe representing their results, but then talking about them abstractly or kind of in a kind of wandering narrative. It's not about that at all. It's really about discussing and reflecting on your results and your analysis. Uh, it's really focused on relating your results to the literature you covered in your literature review. Now that's a really important point because it's not about drawing new research into the paper. If what you're doing in the discussion is citing research that you haven't cited in a literature review, then you're really uh, falling short. What you want to do is discuss the results in relation to the literature, the topics in the, that you've covered in your literature review. Uh, so the first thing you want to do in a, in a discussion section is really just answer your research question. So just start off with one quick sentence, one short, clear sentence that responds to your research question. Now, if you're writing an especially long paper, if you're writing a thesis or a dissertation, you definitely want to remind the reader what your research question was because that might have been presented to them 50 pages ago. So. If it's a long paper, remind them what the research question was. If it's a shorter paper, 10 pages, 15, 20 pages, you can just launch right in. This paper responds to the research question by the, and then say what it is that you're trying to say about your research results. Uh, the second thing you want to do is more or less summarize your research results. So give me two to three paragraphs that cover the main themes or key points of interest on your research results. It's not meant to uh, perfectly restate your research results. It's meant to take your results and kind of squish them down into a smaller package, synthesize them into a couple of key paragraphs, key points, key issues, so that I as a reader understand what you're trying to draw out of your results that you will then relate to the literature that you've covered in the literature review. Now, you might want to break the next piece of information out into several different subheadings because what you're going to do in the third piece is start relating different elements of your results to the topics that you covered in your research in your literature review. I'm going to say that again. You want to take specific elements out of your results and relate them to topics in your research in your literature review. I'm going to miss, I'm going to say that wrong so many times now. Um, and you can kind of do this in two different ways. Number one, you can confirm the evidence or the findings from previous research. So you can say, my research found this. This was one of my key results. This is something that I want uh, pointed out already in my results and analysis. And this relates to this topic of research. Maybe cite a couple of key authors. Again, cite things that you've already cited in the literature review, not new stuff. If you have happened upon new stuff, new research that's come out that you want to cite, put that into the literature review as well. And you can just cite it in the right topic or right heading in the literature review. So you're saying, here's what I found. Here's what previous research has shown, and then here's how my research confirms that. So in one way or another, your research is going to have said more or less the same thing as prior research, but you want to just show that, show that evidence, really make that connection clear for the reader. That's one way you can relate your findings to previous research. Now, the other way is to extend prior research. So now you're moving beyond just confirming. You're moving beyond just, I found this, they found that, we found kind of the same thing. And we're saying that I found this, they found that, but my research takes that and moves it a little bit forward or changes the direction a little bit, or maybe it expands the way we understand a certain issue or topic in the, that's uh, present in the research literature. So it's really interesting to find that sort of thing in a discussion section because now you can see the justification behind why you did this research in, a per in the first place. There was a specific scientific need and you've created that uh, solution to that need. You've filled that need in some in significant way. 
And you've done that by extending prior research. Now, a lot of people think, especially when they're in an early stage of research, that it's all about kind of refuting uh, prior research, being able to contradict what other scholars have said. But that's a rare, 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 rare occurrence in research because often it's very difficult to refute what a pre previous scholar has said because the issues that we're researching are really complicated and really tough to kind of pick apart. And what one scientist might have found 10 years ago, you might have found something different, but that doesn't mean it contradicts. It only means that it might change the way we think about a specific topic or a specific issue. So I always try to avoid saying that I'm refuting what prior research has said or contradicting it in some way and really think about it as how I've extended prior research or what parts, what aspects of prior research am I confirming that that evidence still holds up even in my study. So let's go back through. Three main things in your uh, discussion section. Uh, first of all, make sure that what you're discussing isn't just your philosophical beliefs around this topic or what you think the results mean, but you're really relating your results to the literature that you covered in your literature review. So number one, answer your research question. Number two, uh, summarize your results in two to three paragraphs. And then number three, you wanna break this into some subheadings Talk about how your results relate to prior research, how that relates to the research covered in your literature review. And you can do this in two ways. One, by confirming what prior research has shown, or two, by extending what prior research has shown. So now you have two different ways of talking about your results in the discussion section.